Okay, so we're going to go ahead and condense um, a few into a single logarithm. So condensing means that you're going to end up with your final answer saying the word log only one time. So this is super important right here, writing log only one time. So you can see in this first problem here I have log base 4 of 7 minus log base 4 of 8. So we're going to go ahead and write that as one logarithm. Now keep in mind that in order to do the problem you have to have two logs or three logs or four logs or however many logs there are with the same base. So these are both log 4's, which means I can totally do this problem. So now I've got to realize that I have um, two logs that are going to have to be written as one. Since they're separated by subtraction, I'm going to remember that subtraction goes along with division. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as log base 4 of 7 over 8. And then that's it. I can't change that. I can't change that 7 eighths into a base 4 to try to simplify that a little bit more. So that's going to be the end of my problem. Super simple right there. This next one's a little more complicated. We've got a couple of things going on here. We still only have two terms. Um, I'm noticing that they're both log base 2's, so that's good. That's telling me that I can do this problem. Um, but I've got a few things happening. One, I have addition. So that means I'm going to end up having to multiply two things together. But two, I also have these two coefficients. So the first thing I want to do is I need to take care of those coefficients. So I'm going to take these and those coefficients are going to become exponents. That's from that power property. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as log base 2 of x to the sixth plus log base 2 of y squared. Now I've got two logs. I don't have those coefficients anymore. So now I can go ahead and do that addition. I can multiply those together. So I have log base 2 now just written one time. And then I have x to the 6th times y squared. So parentheses are not necessary there, um, but they're not going to hurt if you add them in. And then that's done. And I know that that's done because I have no more coefficients, I have no more addition signs, I have no more subtraction signs, and I only have the word log written one time. Check out this next one. Now I have all natural logs. So natural logs, remember, is log base e. So since they're all natural logs, that means they're all in the same base. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take care of any coefficients. Coefficients automatically turn into powers. So I'm going to go ahead and take this 3 right here and I'm going to make that into an exponent. So rewriting my problem, I'll have natural log of 4 plus the natural log of 2 cubed. And we will evaluate that into 8, but I'm going to go ahead and um, just do one step at a time so we can really see all the steps and then write down everything else. So now I'm going to evaluate that. I'm going to um, make that into the natural log of 8 because I actually can compute it. So the natural log of 4 plus the natural log of 8 minus the natural log of 12 minus the natural log of 8. Now there are different approaches to this problem. I'm going to go ahead and just use straight order of operations and working doing addition and subtraction from left to right. So that means the first two things I'm going to do is I'm going to combine those two pieces right there. So now since they are um, separated by addition, I'm going to go ahead and multiply them together. So I'm going to condense those two from two logarithms into one, and I'm going to say the natural log of 32. And that 32 is coming from multiplying the 4 times the 8. Then I'm still going to have minus the natural log of 12 minus the natural log of 8. So the next thing I would do is I would do um, that subtraction. I'm going to condense those two um, into one logarithm, and I'm going to change this now to the natural log of 32 divided by 12. And I'm going to do that because um, subtraction means that we really have division. So then I have 32 over 12 minus the natural log of 8 still. So now we're going to be dividing by 8 again. So all that really means is that that 8 is also going in the denominator. So you can, if you want to, you can go ahead and simplify 32 over 12 and get 8 over 3. That would be fine. So this is the natural log of 8 over 3 minus the natural log of 8. Now we're going to go ahead and combine those. So we're going to move that 8 into the denominator as well. So moving up here, I'll have the natural log of 8 divided by a 3 times 8. So when we moved this 8 um, into the denominator, now it's going to multiply with that. If you want to evaluate it, you can, but we can also kind of see that we have 8 on top and bottom, so I'm really going to end up simplifying that fraction um, to end up just being the natural log of one-third for my final answer. If you're more comfortable with multiplying that out and getting 
um, 8 over 24 and then simplifying it, you're still going to get one third. Now I know that I'm done because I have um, my log, my natural log written just one time. I have no more coefficients. I have no more addition signs and no more subtraction signs. So now we're going to check out this last one here. So this last one is a beast of a problem. There's a ton of terms here. Um, again, there's quite a few different ways that you can do this. If you wanted to simplify within the parentheses first, you could, but I think what I'm going to do, the approach that I'm going to do, is I'm going to actually distribute this too. So um, really what I'm going to end up with is now 2 log base 4 of 15x minus 2 log base 4 of 5x squared plus 2 log base 4 of y, and then I still have that 1 third log base 4 of 8. Then once I do that and I've gotten rid of those parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and take these coefficients, okay? You want to get rid of those coefficients first, and I'm going to make them into exponents. So I'm going to make them into an exponent of this. Now I'm making that into an exponent of log base 4 of 15x, so it's the whole thing. So if we need to remember that that whole thing, the 15 and the x are going to be squared, we will. This 2 is going to become a power of that one, this 2 is going to become a power of the y, and this 1 third is going to become a power of the 8. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that kind of so we can really see what's happening here. Log base 4 of 15x squared minus log base 4 of 5x squared, and now that's squared, plus log base 4 of y squared plus log base 4 of 8 to the 1 third power. So a couple of things happening now. Now I'm going to take log base 4 of 15x and square that. So I'm going to change this into log base 4 of 225x squared. So I've distributed that power of 2 to both pieces inside the parentheses minus log base 4, same thing here. Now this is going to become 25x to the 4th plus log base 4 of y squared and then plus log base 4 of 2, and that's because 8 to the 1 thirds power is 2. So now using my order of operations, I'm going to go ahead and do these first two. So I'm going to use um, addition and subtraction from left to right. I'm going to go ahead and condense those two into one logarithm. So I'm going to rewrite this now as log base 4 of 225x squared over 25x to the 4th. And then I still have everything else that's um, from the original problem. So now I'm going to simplify that log base 4 of 225 um, x squared over 25 x to the fourth. I'm going to make that a little bit, I don't know, a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to simplify it. So 225 over 25 is going to simplify down to be 9. So log base 4 of 9. And then x squared over x to the fourth becomes x squared in the denominator. And then I still have plus log base 4 of y squared plus log base 4 of 2. Now moving on. I'm going to combine these two. So now I'm multiplying. So that means I'm going to end up with log base 4 of 9y squared over x squared. And then I still have plus log base 4 of 2. So giving myself a little bit more room here. I'm going to go ahead and move up here real quick. And now I'm going to multiply again. When I do these last problems, I'm going to do these last two. And I'm going to rewrite that as log base 4 of 9y squared times 2 over x squared. And I'm going to definitely multiply the 9 and the 2 together to become 18. So my final answer will be log base 4 of 18y squared over x squared. And I know I'm done because I have no more coefficients, I have no more addition signs, no more subtraction signs, and I have the word log written only one time.